So let's bring uh, our discussion a step uh, further into the uh, digitalization of uh, financial markets. You have created whole new asset classes in financial futures. So the question for you is, is Bitcoin or cryptocurrency a harbinger of change? Do you see it as a new asset class or a trading instrument? Well, it certainly can't be ignored. Uh, I personally am not 100% certain that uh, Bitcoin has the role that it wants to have in financial investment. Uh, it has done quite well, of course, and the recent investment by Elon Musk certainly uh, gave it a big shot in the arm, a lot of money invested, and he is known to be a very, very smart investor. Um, I just wonder whether um, Bitcoin uh, can fill the role, at least uh, um, in the beginning of when it first uh, showed itself up. I had a conversation with uh, an economist that you know, Larry Summers, perhaps one of the greatest economists of the day, on uh, what his thoughts were, because I was uh, I was worried about Bitcoin, that it could be used in ways that uh, uh, would not be uh, proper, perhaps, in laundering money or things like that. And and Larry, Larry was very direct with me. He said, you, Leo, who is known as the great in innovator, can never be against a new innovation. <laughs> he was correct in that. And I certainly... Um, and uh, an observer with, uh, with a great interest in this. But you must remember what we have uh, uh, experienced. Uh, technology has been the leading force of the world in the last 30 years. And in those 30 years, we have seen things uh, that were unbelievable um, only uh, three decades ago, I remember when I uh, proceeded to launch the idea of Globex, the world did not accept it right away. But since then, of course, the whole world now uses electronic trade as the means of investing and hedging their risks. And so without it, of course, uh, we wouldn't have the great abilities that the exchanges offer. But it has done more than that. Uh, I think technology has speeded up everything in more efficient, but in certainly in the speed has done everything um, it can. Uh, I write about that in, in a book that um, I'm soon to be published about the fact that perhaps we have not sufficiently discounted speed and efficiency in everything that has changed as a result of the new technology in the world. I have written about that because you know that we have been unable to create inflation in the U.S. and in and certainly in China and certainly many other places that um, would seem to be uh, easy to do. I mean, it used to be a 2% uh, effect on inflation was not uh, a very difficult, and yet we can't reach it. And uh, that is a worrisome thing. But I think perhaps it was the technology that made everything efficient and, and has... Uh, change the nature of inflation, perhaps much more so than uh, was expected or uh, was understood. Uh, take, um, take, for instance, uh, when electricity was, uh, was born, uh, it changed the world, and it certainly changed the dynamics of inflation, because prior to electricity, uh, at nightfall, uh, we would go to sleep because the world was on gaslight. And then when electricity suddenly came, 
uh, the nighttime became a productive um, force that changed literally everything. So we are uh, living through uh, a changes in, in, in the world and certainly in finance and certainly in economics that we've never experienced before. And it's uh, always difficult to, uh, to predict uh, what is next and what will be coming. Uh, you talk about your book. I did hear about your new memoir that is uh, out probably in April. Are you able to share with us quickly a sneak preview of what you're going to write? Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is another memoir of my uh, life. Um, and uh, of course, it does um, it does try to respond to what happened in the financial crisis is that uh, I lived through and how the exchanges participated and uh, actually did a, such a great job during those uh, very difficult times that um, the world is grateful, uh, I think, to the exchanges that have been able to uh, withstand um, the difficulty. So uh, I speak a little bit about that and try to explain um, uh, what happened and why it happened and whether uh, the world did well with it or not. Fortunately or unfortunately, my book ended before COVID. So I was not able to include that in the stories uh, that I have. Uh, maybe that's another book, but <laughs> I doubt if yeah, I want to take that. There'll be yes, many books yeah. on COVID. Yeah.